New developments tonight in the investigation into an unsolved murder. It has been more than a year since Terrence Eggleston Jr. was shot and killed on Detroit's west side. We're glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. Terrence's family and friends have been fighting for months to get justice. They're reaching out to us tonight with questions why no arrests have been made. Our Sean Lay has been tracking this story for us. And Sean, you spoke with Terrence's mother. We did. We will hear from her in a moment. We also spoke with the prosecutor's office telling us right now the evidence that they have points to self-defense for the gunman. Terrence's mother, however, says two key people have not talked to police yet. They need to step up and tell what they saw. Terrence Eggleston Jr. was shot and killed in this area of Ward and Puritan on Detroit's west side. It happened more than a year ago, July 16th of 2022. The man who shot Eggleston multiple times has been walking free ever since. Eggleston was known as Tank. Monica Eggleston is Tank's mother. He took my son away from me. My family is struggling dealing with this. When I say I have a lot of memories of my son, but the most important and loving memories I have of him, how he grew up. I just want justice for my son. I don't feel like my son is uh, at peace. He know his parents is not at peace. It all went down as Tank was trying to get his young cousin away from a domestic situation. Monica Eggleston says for no reason the man involved shot her son to death. More than a year later, no arrests. Apparently the cousin and gunman aren't talking and police need more to get an arrest warrant. What hurt me the most is my son went over here and got killed for no reason. That is what's deep down in my heart is really Other hurting than me. Other being a peacemaker. Just being a peacemaker. And that's all he was going over there to do. Back here live, also check with Detroit police. They say they have certainly not forgotten about Tank's case. It is wide open with a homicide detective. But if they get more people to come in and tell them what happened, they can certainly present that to the prosecutor's office as well. Tank's mom basically saying she wants to be seen and heard in this case, and that's exactly what we're doing tonight. Kimberly, Devin. Okay. Sean, thank you.